So today's breakfast is the same, you know, beans, salmon, egg. However, we've gone for something a little bit different. We normally go for the bagels, but we've gone for a crumpet today because I haven't had a crumpet in a long time. I don't know if anyone overseas know what crumpets are. I ain't got a clue. But in the UK, crumpets hang. When I tell you they're hang, they are fucking bang. We'll give you a little, a little taste test. That's a me. Also, cumin and paprika on your eggs. Promise you. Buy some cumin, go to the supermarket, get cumin, get some paprika, put that on your eggs. Promise you, you've got a game changer. Now, I date a Moroccan woman. She introduced me to spi spices, flavours, seasonings, that type of stuff. I'm a typical white boy. I don't add season, salt and pepper, normal, you know, white boy stuff. Up next on the menu, mint ice lolly. Because I like ice creams and the weather is hot. By the way, this is Sean. I like to call him Sean. People actually do get a little bit frightened and they think it's someone real sitting in the car when I have it there. It prevents them from stealing my car, but let's be honest, no one's gonna steal my car. It's a Peugeot 107. That's what it looks like. Yeah, not bad that. I'm not biggest fan of mint, not gonna lie. Mint's not the, my favorite ice cream ever. At the moment, I'll eat anything. I'll eat anything, especially in this weather as well. You're not gonna watch me suck all this unless that is your side of things, you know, that you fantasize over that. It tastes good. So driving home, I thought, why not stop off at Starbucks? Because I know they've reopened and I had a Starbucks in eight. Because one, I don't drink coffee anymore. Well, I don't drink caffeine at all since being in lockdown. And two, the weather's paying and I just want a refreshing beverage just to go down the pipe. Been in the fucking queue for about fucking half an hour. And I'm fucking region, man. That's what it's looking like down there. These are all queuing up, these fuckers down here including myself and it goes around there all the way down there and uh yeah everyone's waiting which is not fucking good all right can i get a light coffee frappuccino please decaffeinated and can i get that with almond milk and two shots of sugar-free vanilla please have you got any food in at all yeah have you got any hot food like the tom only got uh tomato mozzarella paninis that's hot food. yeah can i take one of those as well please thank you and i've just stole me fucking car <laughs> not bad Tomato panini. We touched the hands, man. Oh, my. I asked for a tall one, I got a regular. Decaf. It's not even what I fucking want. Don't even get me started. No, I'm not gonna say anything. I've queued an hour, and it's not even what I want. It's not cre it's, it's too creamy. It's meant to be like an ice thing. This is not it. Oh, my days. Nah, don't piss me off. Let me taste test this fucking thing. Nah, that's dead. That's fucking dead. You mad? That's dead. That is dead. That's dead, bruv. I've queued up over an hour. I'm fucking raging, man. Right, this is a tomato mozzarella panini. It's literally bang average. Dead. So doughy as well. Starbucks are fucking frauds. Fucking frauds. Pay like eight pounds for this shit. Nah. Raging at this. It's fucking dead. So this month's supplement mad order. I think I'm due another box, so you might see in another video. There's a few bits I haven't got. On the month of what's it? May. May. That was my best month in terms of code being used. So I just want to say thank you for everyone that used my code. I still can't get over that side of things. First of all, got loads of energy drinks. I don't drink energy drinks, but the missus loves energy drinks. So I decided to give them to her. At the moment, every Friday, they're doing like a giveaway. So leave like 12 bottles of energy drinks every Friday giveaway at the moment. So make sure you head over to their Instagram page and, and comment down below. I've um, got a greens powder. I do get a lot of my fruit and veg in, but for... When I do my mini cart, obviously my food's going to be lower, so this is probably going to come in handy for me getting in my, my greens and, and all that side of things, so that's there. Intra workout, obviously I still use, so I've got my Intra Carb Plus from Supplement Needs, um, pretty much like a high bar, it's like a dextrin powder, which is just very easy digesting. Same again, multivitamin, just a basic standard multivitamin, as I've always mentioned, my ashwagandha as well. Take that before I go to bed and post training sometimes. Way I slip, we've got the Applied Nutrition ISO XP. I've had some good things about this, the, the nutritional side of things is very very good so per serving we've got which is 25 grams 22 grams of protein zero grams of fat zero grams of carbs as well so as i mentioned thank you always to supplement mads use my code george10 for your 
purchases and uh, yeah I always greatly I still can't fucking believe anyone actually using my code I still can't believe I get this sent to me which is great it's gonna do an arm session today but what I'm gonna add in is some additional lat work so I'm probably gonna do five or six sets of just direct lats so I'm gonna do like a pull down a rope and maybe like an I don't know what I'm gonna do I haven't planned it yet but I need more lats simple as that and we know that in order for a muscle to grow we need to hit maximum volt water the amount of volume we can hit and allow us to recover so I'm just gonna trial this it might not be a regular thing Starting off with a, a single arm pull down. Reason behind the single arm pull down first is with like any pull down, the hardest bit about the movement is getting it short. So obviously with the initial pull, for example, so when I pull down, that's fine. But from here down to here is when the issue occurs. Um, obviously due to the strength curve, that side of things. So with those type of movements, I would always recommend placing them first when you are fresher, because you're gonna get the most out of it. When you're fatigued, you know what it's like trying to get something short when your lats are fatigued already. Hence why you, when, we, when you come to failure on a pull down, it's very hard to get it fully shortened. I'm only gonna do about two or three sets on this to failure. Ideally just think about driving my elbow down to the floor and really just engaging my lats. And on the eccentric, bring them on the way back up. I'm really just thinking about my lats. I'm just holding that position and thinking lats, 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 lats. Contract, bam. Single arm row up next. Really good movement when done properly. Like I see a lot of people do this wrong and I've gone over it time and time again. With any kind of lat movement, there's no retraction of the scapula occurring. We're really trying to think about bringing our elbow down to the base of our spine into the hip area. That is gonna incorporate more lat, not scapula retraction. So when you are doing your single arm rows, pull downs, we're always trying to think about bringing our elbow down or bring it down to the floor or, or down to our pelvis, our pelvis if we are doing, hip I should say, if we are doing um, a rowing variation. Narrow grip press up. Ideally, I go roughly about shoulder width part. I don't go any wider or narrower than that. I was previously doing narrow grip bench press, but it was just killing my wrist. This seems to be more of a fitting option for me right now, as I've not got much variations to do. What I've done is I've just put 20 kilos in my rucksack and just added a little bit of extra weight, because if I was just doing body weight, you know, I could probably do more than 30 in one go, probably knowing me, so doing the, um,
growing your arms, I think you should do a variety of everything. Like, throughout my lifting journey, career, you wanna call it that, I used to be so into, okay, what are the pros doing? I need to be doing that. Okay, what is my favorite in influencer doing? I need to be doing that. And slowly, since I've kind of grown up mature, I've actually realized, you know what? That isn't the right way of doing things. It's actually finding what works best for you. And it's taking a combo between, okay, what does that pro do? What does my favorite influencer do? What do I like doing? And combining all of that into one, and you'll find that perfect combo. So for me right now, I enjoy working between like eight to 20 reps on arms. I like doing free weights, I like doing cables, I like doing a variety of different angles, I like doing supersets, drop sets, rest pauses for arms, I like getting a good pump, I like getting progressively stronger, I like doing everything with arms. And it's just kind of finding what works best for you. Like I've done really high volume, like four or five sets on arms, and I just get to a point of where I just kind of lose contract, I lose connection with everything, I don't get a pump at all. When I drop my volume down a little bit and I do two to three sets on each arm movement and get a really good pump, feel good, I find that my arms respond better. And since obviously implementing an arm day, I just feel like they've just got fuller, bigger. So up next, God, you can't even see me. Let me lay down. Up next, we're gonna do some line dumbbell skull crushers. Now, what we wanna try and do with these is create as much elbow flexion as you possibly can. Now, this is extension, elbow flex. When you flex your arm, that's flexion. So you wanna fully shorten the tricep, fully extend the tricep. So my preference is actually going a little bit further back so my head is slightly tilted off. I don't know if you see that, yeah, slightly tilted off the bench and that allows me to get more range of motion. So that's knee, that's knee flexion, <laughs> that's elbow flexion. I'm pressing up like that. Come back down, and much, much pressure, tension through the triceps, back up. New protein to try the Applied Nutrition ISO XP Creme de la, de la Cookie. So it's a egg, a creme, creme, cream egg. I'm gonna try this post workout. Macros, as I mentioned, are very good. 0.2 grams of fat, 0.09 grams of carbs, and 22.5 grams of protein per serving, which is 25 grams. So we're gonna see what this bad boy tastes like. So I've added 200 ml of water and 70 grams of whey. So, taste test. You know what, for a whey isolate, that's good. Whey isolate's mm, not the greatest in terms of flavors, but you know what, this will fucking do. I'd give it a seven, maybe an eight out of 10. But the macros, you know, are really, really good and that's gonna help me when I'm mini cut. I'm gonna definitely drink that. Um, yeah, not the greatest, but as I mentioned, for the second time, it would do. Just off to collect my vid video. What? Just off to collect my video. Just off to collect my dinner is what I was meant to say. Anyway, have a guess what I'm having. Why do I say video? Fucking weirdo. One thing I wanted to mention is this country is a fucking joke. This lockdown has become a joke. Nobody, including myself, is not taking it serious anymore. I see so many people out, I see so many people at beaches and stuff like that. It's a joke. Like, we should be in full lockdown. Like, that's what should have happened. We should have done what the rest of Europe and the other countries outside of the European Union should have done. Not bloody piss around and, oh no, we'll half-heartedly do all this and do that. It's a joke because people are just taking the piss now and I'm sitting here going, well, if all these fuckers are going out and enjoying themselves and, you know, seeing their partners or doing this, doing that, I sit here and think, well, I'll do the fucking same. And that's not a good mindset to have. You probably guessed it, it's Pepe's. I was not gonna get my camera out. Well, I don't know why I'm doing it right now, but I'm not getting my camera out in public in Luton. Fuck that. You ever been Luton? Don't ever come back. It's fucking grim. I hate living around here. Because the homeless guy come in, come to the counter, ask for some change. I've never ever see that elsewhere. Go into a shop, can I have some change, please? What? No, of course not. Hey, here you go, mate. Fucking hell. Oh, the holiness. Now, tip. Garlic mayo, bush, over that. Stir it, or mix it in, I should say. And that there is perfect. Also, chips on the side as well. 
and they're good chips. They're not fucking shitty little chips. They're good chips. You've, see, you've seen me eat this plenty of times before, but I'm just going to give you a little taste test. A little bit of chicken. I can't even see that, can He's just still focused on my bloody face, but he's chicken. Yeah, man. Yeah, Jamaican George comes out. Yeah, man. Yes, you know. Take yourself too seriously. He's a bit of a one off. So diet starts tomorrow, and what better way to finish it with a five guys. Standard, I don't like how it's got cheese all around the edges and that, I hate that. But we've got the bacon uh, cheeseburger with grilled mushrooms, grilled tomato, no, grilled mushrooms, grilled onions, mustard and ketchup. Five stars for five guys. Especially during this lockdown period when you haven't had this type of food for ages. I did have this the other week, but still, yeah, fucking good. Still well expensive, but who gives a fuck right now? We might die tomorrow from Corona. Simple. Mini cut starts today. I'm mini cutting right now, so I'm actually dieting for the first time in 34 weeks, which I'm excited about. In my next video, I'm going to be explaining all about mini cuts, how to approach a mini cut from a trainer standpoint, nutrition, cardio, output in general, how long you should last, what you should do, how to reverse out of a diet, that side of things. So be on the lookout for that. I will provide as much information as I can. Plenty of full days of eating whilst dieting as well. Everything, physique updates, keeping it real as I always do. Comment down below, brush, if you've watched the whole thing. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. A little bit of me chatting shit, a little bit of me providing some sort of value. I think I, I want to do the best of both worlds. I hate when someone does like a full video where it's just serious, serious, serious. It's boring. You just want to do weird stuff like, oh, fucking hell. You want a bit of that. You want a bit of laughter as well. So I hope you're all staying safe and well during this lockdown. Hopefully this is the last, last month for lockdown when we start going back to the gyms. Lots of love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.